Okay, use differentials to estimate the amount of paint needed to apply a coat of paint 0.08 centimeters thick to a hemispherical dome with a diameter of 78 meters. Okay, so how do I know I'm supposed to use differentials in this one? 0.08. There's even better. The first two words, use differentials, okay? So again, the last one said error, so use differentials. This one actually says use differentials. All right, so amount of paint. So what we have to consider here is what is um, needed to apply a coat of paint. Okay, All right, so what we have to do is ask yourself, going back to geometry, okay, and re remembering everything we've ever learned about geometry, if I want to know how much paint's needed to um, paint something, I need to understand what measurement I'm looking for here. So can anybody tell me if I'm trying to figure out how much paint I need to put on this hemispherical dome? Is everybody okay with a hemispherical dome? Take a sphere, chop it in half, you got a hemisphere. So it kind of looks like this. Got some radius form that way. And like Sandy Cheeks' dome. Uh, yeah, it's so like Sandy Cheeks' dome. There we go. Like the tree dome. There we go. Alright. That's what we're looking at. Alright. Um, what is the measurement I'm looking for here to find out how much paint I need to use? Surface area? Surface area, very good. All right, it's a surface area issue. All right, now, what I want you to understand here is this. The diameter is 78 meters, which means the radius is 39 meters, right? We want the paint to be 0 0.08 centimeters thick. All right, so if you imagine this little thin layer of paint sitting on top of this tree dome, I'm going to draw it bigger than it really is, but imagine you got your paint and your paint is right there. There's our paint that's 0.08 centimeters thick. Can everybody visualize that? So this little deal here is 0.08 centimeters. <coughs> They want us to use differentials to find that. <clears throat> and what I'm going to tell you is this. The surface area of the dome itself, using 39 meters as the radius, is going to be some number. And the D surface area, the error of surface area, based on this amount of error, is going to represent the surface area of that green stuff. All right? So if this is R, and we call this dr. And you might think it's 0.04 because this is the diameter, this, right? We want the paint to be 0.08 centimeters thick. So 0.08 here, 0.08 there. So it's still 0.08 is the amount, the thickness of the paint. We don't want the paint to be 0.04 on this side, 0.04 on that side. We want 0.08 all the way through. All right? So this is dr, is the extra amount. Then this green stuff is simply going to be D of surface area. So DS if we're using S for surface area. Where S itself is the surface area of the sphere. Does that make sense? All right, so we're going to use differentials to estimate this amount. Here's how it goes. First of all, the surface area formula for a whole sphere. Let's start with the whole sphere. It's on that sheet I gave you freshman year, I told you to memorize for your seniors. 4 pi r squared. Okay, if you can remember the volume formula for a sphere, this one, the surface area is the derivative of it. That's a coincidental thing, it doesn't happen for all these figures, but the surface area formula is the derivative of the volume formula. So if you remember the volume formula, you ought to act on the surface area form. That's the whole sphere. We only have half a sphere, so if I divide that by 2, so the surface area of this object is going to be 2 pi r squared. Okay? I know the radius is 39 meters. I know that the change in radius is going to be 0 0.08 centimeters. Okay? Does anybody see anything wrong with that? One meters, one centimeters. Do you think that's important? Yeah. Maybe. Let's go 3,900 centimeters for the radius. Get them all both in the same unit. 
It's easier to go 3,900 centimeters than when you're going to go to 0 0.0008 meters, right? Yeah. Right. So 3,900 seems more friendly to me. Um, and there's my S equals. And again, I can figure out what S equals, right? And if I have to find a percent error, then that would be important. Um, this is not a situation of error, though, right? We're just trying to find how much paint we need. So I wouldn't worry about the percent error on this one. And again, if I do the derivative of S, it's going to be 1 ds. So S goes away. I don't need it. All right, so ds is what I'm considering, uh, con concerned with. All right, so let's try it. So I'm going to get ds is equal to 4 pi r dr. And that means ds is going to equal 4 pi times 39 times 0.08 and 4 times 3900 3900 thank you there you go All right, 3900 so 4 times pi times 3900 times 0 0.08 that comes out to 3920 0.71. Okay, what unit do you think goes on that? Uh, centimeters. Centimeters squared, right? 3,920.71 centimeters squared paint. Amount of paint needed. Seems like we should have like cubic centimeters of paint, shouldn't it? That's 3,900 meters, that's 0.08, or sorry, centimeters, 0.08 meters. The change in the surface area, yeah, I suppose that's, that's the area of paint we need. Okay, and, and paint usually covers a certain square footage, right, or square, in this case, square centimeters. And depending on what unit you're in, you'd have to convert. So, like, if you wanted square feet, you'd have to figure that out, like that. So, um, but that's how much paint we need, 3,920.71 square centimeters of paint. Most.